At what temperature will the degrees in Celsius match the degrees in Fahrenheit? Let's find out. Now, we could look up the answer, but what's the fun in that? Let's do this by only knowing that 0 degrees Celsius equals 32 degrees Fahrenheit, 100 degrees Celsius equals 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and that both of these change linearly. Now, by looking at this, I can tell that the answer is going to be negative, because if I'm starting at 0 degrees Celsius and 32 degrees Fahrenheit, well, for 1 degree Celsius that I'm increasing, I'm increasing in Fahrenheit by 1.8 degrees. There's no way that Celsius is going to catch up to Fahrenheit, so the answer is going to be negative. So I'm going to redraw it like this. Then I'm going to write an equation. Take note that a change of 100 degrees in Celsius is the same thing as a change of 180 degrees in Fahrenheit. So we could say that a change of 1 degree in Celsius is the same thing as a change of 1.8 degrees in Fahrenheit. So here's the equation I came up with. We're starting at 0 degrees Celsius and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. I know the answer is negative, so I'm going to subtract 1 degree Celsius and 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit the same number of times to see when these will match. And when we solve for the variable, we get 40, meaning that we need to go back 1 degree Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit 40 times to get our answer. And when we substitute in 40, we see that it would be at negative 40 degrees for the temperatures to match numerically in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. So there you have it. Now you might be curious how we can write an equation to represent the relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit. That will be for another video.